Hello to everybody, today I am trying to write my first video in English, it's about electronic load DL24 from a torch corporation from China, you see how I unpack box with uh, parts for this load, currently I will not speak about how I made this load, just about its testing. It consists from uh, 4 units, uh, total power is uh, 600 watts. Um, uh, this load can can be used to test equipment, uh, batteries, uh, so I just find few batteries at my table and uh, try to test it. Uh, li uh, lie iron batteries. It's 3 uh, uh, volts up to 4 and 2 volts uh, on each battery can be tested. And I try to compare results which I have from DL24 you currently see I'm still unpacking it and uh, from Litokawa Li 600s equipment. This is uh, quite strange test but um, for somehow for start using this equipment I need to make some tests so I decide to make what I can do best in this way and uh, try to test uh, what I can. Equipment is uh, quite simple to assemble, I, but uh, I made uh, assembling with uh, soldering of all four units, uh, basically a torch thinks that it can be bolted. Okay, for first I try to charge uh, three batteries of Lion type. Mm, with the uh, 600 equipment from Litokawa, uh, well-known AliExpress and other China shops server. It's not expensive, uh, I'm speaking about this uh, equipment you see at the video, it's uh, uh, around 40 or 50 dollars, uh, not too expensive. Batteries uh, you see on this video was taken from notebook battery packs. Uh, not working battery packs was disassembled, and uh, I take these batteries from inside of them. Okay, you can see uh, all three batteries was charged for about four pre two volts. Mm, all is successfully charged. Uh, okay, uh, you see already uh, assembled a lot in uh, an enclosure of uh, steel I bought locally from uh, one of my suppliers. So it's looking quite good uh, and um, consists of this lot well. Uh, there are many uh, space inside of this case, inside of this uh, enclosure, so it can be used for many other applications. I try to use for this e-test, e-load uh, equipment. Uh, all parameters uh, of this e-load uh, DL24 can be set from menu. Menu is quite simple, uh, M button, plus minus button and setup button at bottom. Uh, when you click uh, plus and then minus button and uh, and you are taking them uh, turn it on, uh, equipment uh, is reset, work capacity is reset to zero. Okay, you see now I run discharge of first uh, red one battery and it was discharged for nine mostly 10 hours with current 100 and you see it's it show capacity near 1000 of milliampere hours uh, near 1 ampere on hour okay but I noticed that it was some voltage on this battery and I tried one more time to discharge it and then even after this one discharge, there was some uh, 
some voltage over 3 volts so I discharged it at third time and you see capacity is uh, slightly um, increased every time but time uh, uh, every time uh, is not uh, very much increased you see uh, nine hours it was at the first uh, attempt and 13 and dot and half of how is at the third attempt Okay, after discharging uh, three times, remember I am um, trying to check voltage at this battery, it's three and four volts. So after this I think it's what is this not very normal that I was need to three times to discharge this battery and I try to check capacity of this red battery using Litokawa test mode. In test mode, it uh, for first charge battery, then discharge, then again charge, and you can see uh, charge and discharge capacity uh, 921 milliampere hours uh, for discharge. This is quite uh, real capacity of this battery, and it's uh, it's slightly compatible near of the near 10% of errata for the uh, a torch testing results. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm, I discharge this one more time. This battery, before this I charge it. And I am trying to check it uh, one more time after after testing after charging uh, to, to have estimate results mostly okay running and at the current you see it's slightly how uh, current uh, when uh, then I use first time first time it was 100 mill, uh, milliampere's uh, second time I am using to the char to discharge 300 milliampere's you see uh, first line uh, CC is uh, mean constant current uh, in this uh, a torch DL24 is few moles constant resistance constant current constant voltage uh, so I am using constant current for discharge and uh, take capa and uh, definite capacity of battery. Okay, I I am running this. You see, I set up uh, and after nearly two hours, I got uh, five hundred milliampere's capacity. Is it's two times lower? Then capacity it was uh, at, at first discharge when the current was three times less. So I can say that uh, higher currency for discharge show low capacity, and this is normal maybe. After this after discharge, uh, battery still have some voltage over three volts, but as you see, uh, battery is old and. Uh, Seems uh, it's not taking charge in this mode. Okay, uh, I have two batteries more, same used, but in best situation than the first battery. You see near 2000 milliampere at each battery. So I am trying to discharge, discharge every battery and uh, check what uh, this equipment will show to us uh, using uh, uh, constant current mode setting uh, half of ampere and to watch time for the charge uh, cut off voltage uh, 2 and 9 2 and 8 volts mm, by the way Litokawa is using 2 and 5 volts as uh, cut off voltage and this is uh, can result difference of capacity you see uh, I uh, don't remember to reset and you see after reset and discharge I got um, results of 100 and 
1080 hundreds. This is slightly same as I got with little cover. So not bad results. Uh, errata is near 10%, compatting one equipment to other. So I can say it can be used for testing. Uh, again, I run uh, test, not uh, resetting previous results. So I need stop and plus minus uh, set uh, click buttons uh, and a time and uh, run again. At second batteries I have 1700 milliamperes. Okay, it's uh, good results I think. Thank you for watching my video. Next videos in this channel will be in English language and I will try continue in Ukrainian language. Thank you and ciao.